Hey everyone, yeah, I'm trying out the new setup uh, with recording on console and I'm trying out a new game. Welcome to Blue Fire. I saw this from an Iron Pineapple video where he uh, tests Souls likes and this was one of the ones he liked. I decided to check it out on the Switch and it's pretty cheap. Apparently it's like a nice little kind of cutesy uh, Breath of the Wild-ish, or like Zelda-ish, okay, I'm just gonna start. Recommended, of course, interesting that there's a difficult selection. Um, kind of Breath of the Wild-ish, Legend of Zelda-ish, Hollow Knight-ish, kind of cutesy Souls-like game. Which is loud as fuck, because I gotta turn on my TV. Um, yeah, and I was like, I'm bored of playing Souls games. Uh, and Souls mods. So we're gonna check this out. We're gonna check this out. Should be a pretty fun little playthrough. This game is like, I guess like seven, eight hours long. So it's gonna take a couple of episodes. I'm gonna try to make this kind of into like a more edited playthrough. Cut out the, cut out the wasting parts, as in time wasting parts. I mean, I like this, like those cell shaded, you know. You know, the last cell shaded game I played, Ashen, was fun, but it got boring. So we'll see. We'll see how this holds up. Um, story is no story, I'm guessing. Yeah, is this angle okay? I think it is. This this guy kind of looks like a, I don't know, like an edgy young Link. I guess to describe him. Interesting. <laughs> Look at him. He looks like, oh, he looks like, listen, holy fuck, he's quick. Okay, there's rumble. That's gonna sound annoying. Holy shit, he's quick. He's fast as fuck, boy. Um, I completely lost my train of thought. Dangerous, do not touch. Well, we touched it. Oh fuck, yeah, really do not touch. Yeah, fuck your shit. So bees jump. Ikiro notes, test subject 512. Subject appears to be moving for a while, but it's quickly corrupted. The following pages are worn out. Interesting. Now we're getting into the lore here. Okay, boys, I think I figured out how to move the camera. Oh shit, dash. Yeah, apparently, I think from what I've seen, this game is closer to probably Hollow Knight, Pile of Corpses. Interesting. Okay, we're on top of it. Yeah, this game is probably closer to Hollow Knight than um, really Souls. Uh, and that's one of the things I always kind of wondered whether you can consider Hollow Knight a Souls-like. I'm not sure. All right, let's get going here. Okay, we figured out how to jump as well. Thank you. Man, he's so fast. I can't get over how fast he's. So I was gonna say, uh, he looks like that. There was an old cartoon I used to watch as a kid. And I don't know if we're having like a Candle Cove situation on our hands because I've never been able to find this cartoon. Uh, but if you know what it is, uh, do tell me. If I remember correctly, the main character was like a detective. But he was also a pig. And there was like some weird... It took place in like a little town. It was kind of horror inspired, I'd say. Or like supernatural inspired weapon room. Okay. And again, when I'm describing this like this... It sounds like a fucking fever dream, which it very well might be. And the main antagonist was this, like, mask-wearing creep who used to, like, spy on these people from, like, uh, a cave. And that's what this guy looks like. Except, like, emo version or something. God, that... What I just said the last... Oh, fuck. Minute made no sense at all, probably. You can, I think you can also charge your... No, not really. This game is adorable. Can I just say... That? Oh, look at this. 
traveler of the land when facing evil do not underestimate the power of emoting what huh levitation new emote holy fuck how do you do these quick emo holy shit oh man this is look at him <laughs> he's levitating this game is awesome i am liking this game a lot listen i'm gonna be honest with you i'm a sucker for these kinds of games having grown up in the 90s slash early 2000s you know that cutesy platformers are my thing um I think everybody from that era, Bitoven. My name is Bitoven. He's a bit of an asshole. Humble flute player, gazing upon this incredible view. Pretty good view, gotta admit. The wind on my skin. He's making adorable noises. It is amazing. Do you really believe that long ago people actually lived out there? They say before the castle was built, cities existed way down in the ground. Sorry for drifting off like that. It's just, this view gets me thinking about so many things. The gods, the queen, the shadow. So many things are set to happen here. Should make a tune about this. Interesting. So, nobody lives on the ground anymore. Or, that's what the deep state would like to make you believe right i think so see i said that this would be like a more edited playthrough but so far everything is like so kind of adorable ish oh okay that i'm not gonna cut anything out okay nice you can also hang on to ledges yeah it is very much um kind of zelda ish which isn't a bad thing listen zelda is some dope dope shit we have our first enemies cool easy as hell even though I took... Yeah, never mind that I took damage. That doesn't matter. Required Vessel of Souls. Okay, I should, I should just try to hit it, but... That ain't gonna do anything. So this is obviously still tutorial type shit. But... The thing is, I don't actually know how difficult this game is. All I know is that it got some recommendations. It's fairly well well rated, so listen, why not? Again, and that's what I was. How did he switch targets? Oh, okay. Okay. It's interesting that it's Yeah, that's going to be hella bad muscle memory i can already tell that i'm gonna try to keep switching with um moving it left or right like how it is in dark souls honestly that dark souls way of doing it is fairly intuitive oh shit come on lock on oh wait God, the muscle memory. I screwed up again. This game rumbles a lot. It, the, the thing is, the... Fuck. Okay. Um, I gotta figure out the iframe situation here. Um, whether you actually have any. That's question number one. And the second thing is whether 
Like which which type of dodging is the most effective in this game? Because you know, like we have the dodge through type games, and we have the dodge away type games. Um, so we'll see which one this is. Luckily, like movement is fairly. Yeah, this is very Hollow Knight ish, and the movement for sure is 3D Hollow Knight, but. Like I said, like I said, I guess you can already consider Hollow Knight to be almost a Souls-like. So, you know. Actually, no, Hollow Knight came after Dark Souls. Okay, I just went completely the wrong way because I'm stupid. You know, honestly, I'm liking how intuitive the movement feels. Like... I can tell that if they introduce some other movement mechanics, this could become pretty good. Okay. Pick my shit up. That, that was very Hollow Knight-ish as well. Okay, these guys mad telegraph their attacks. How did I even get hit by them? Okay. I think this is a dodge away type game. From what I'm from what I'm detecting so far, that was easy as hell. Dee 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 dee. Okay, piece of magical armor crafted by the fire guards protects from damage and reflects darkness. Shield hold A. Oh fuck! And there's like a little shield meter. The question is, how do you get it back up? It's like smash, isn't it? Can be used to open a locked door. Well, thank you. Thank you for not being more vague on that. Because yeah, that shit don't seem to recover though. Au naturel, as they say, you know. There's like a wall jump too. Do you see that? Can we like Metroid this shit, you know, like Super Metroid? Just still haven't fucking managed to finish. Cool. Still can't interact with that. Listen, the only like straight up locked door that I remember was like... Well, actually, where was that? I saw a locked door somewhere. That's the one. Use a key. Keys. Oh, shit. So it does like not... It like doesn't correspond to one... Thing necessarily one door but this is the only one that was like this so I'm guessing that the shield yeah you gotta attack cool that's how you recover the shield meter it's like fucking space marine yeah I still have warhammer on my mind well, I say I have Warhammer on, I keep playing Dark Crusade. Um, can't carry more Fire Essence. Well, I would use it if you told me where and how. This looks like something you could feasibly do something on. Holy shit. <laughs> Von Fireguard. He's gonna be like a boss. Warrior of Light and Shadow. For a very long time, I've been waiting for... Oh, we're the destined hero. Excellent. My name is Vaughn. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, shit. This thing looks like it would have, like, a TikTok. Last of the fire guards, the only survivor of the firekeep raid. For centuries, I've carried out what seemed to be a senseless task. I've protected this abandoned keep in the name of the guards. 
protected a hopeless faith, but now you're here. Penumbra awaits your blade warrior. Isn't Penumbra a horror game? Time is slipping through our hands as we speak. That glowing stone behind you, that is a void entrance. Okay, thread your journey, you'll come upon many more void entrances. Leading to dungeons, I'm guessing. These gates are, he has tiny ass legs. It's like he has ashen legs. Because uh, ashen has like these like fucking like cocktail stick legs. These gates are links to, yep, a forgotten realm known as the void. It's where our ancestors trained. You must seek as many void entrances as you can. Throughout them, embrace the void and seek our ancestors' power. Only through this will you be able to prove your worth and claim the secret power of the guards. Warrior of light and shadow. Seek, seek, lest. He's gonna be, a, he's 100% gonna be a boss. Like, I can already tell that he is going to be Grace of Lula. Oh, these are like little kind of challenge thingies, I'm guessing. Cool. Listen, I'm, I've been waiting to test my platforming chops. These look, this game is just actually fairly good. Like, like, look at this. This is, and again, when you saw me play Rayman a while ago, you probably summarized that I am a huge fan of these types of games. I love platformers. Especially ones that have like these dash mechanics or something. It's like intuitive movement. I say as I blast myself through. The <laughs> Did he like helicopter himself or something? Is that what happened with his little swords? Okay, you gotta be care like real careful with that, the dash, because you can like go fucking like blasting yourself off the edge. Yeah, this game has like a nice aesthetic. Uh, I'm liking this. I like this type of art style. I don't know what to call it. Kind of Ashen had this type of art style as well. It's like cartoonish, but then again, not. I can't get over this main character. Uh, still not as cute as the one from Hollow Knight. Because uh, that thing is absolutely adorable. But pretty good. I hate when I miss elevators. Hopefully these don't have like shit at the top. No, they don't. So I'm guessing like these are uh, how you unlock your abilities or something. They kind of remind me of Doom's challenges. That's another game I still need to get around to, Doom Eternal. People are, a lot of people have asked for it. And I can see why. I know Doom Eternal is a great game. I would have done the Zelda thing, but that's only when you unlock chests. Nice. HP. That is how you level up. Easy as hell, by the way. Enter the void complete. There was one more thing, though. That there's a path here. We'll see if this leads to anything significant. Hello, traveler of the land. When facing evil, do not... Yeah. I'm going to hella get emotes. Techno. This is some Fortnite dances, I swear. Yeah. This is a TikTok dance. I told you. But this levitation is pretty good. You can bet your ass I'm going to be getting all the emotes. Like, that is, that is... There is no other goal for this playthrough than to get all the emotes. You can be sure of that. This red stuff, I don't know what it's for. 
but hey because if there's no leveling up you know what else are we going to be able to spend souls for one hey it's early days let's not let's not speculate unnecessarily The only thing that's taking a bit of time or like a bit of adjustment is how kind of slidey he is. I say as I slide off. It kind of does that thing where like, this, you know, he has a little bit of um, like momentum to him when you're like trying to go in. A, you see how he kind of slides around. Yeah, that might take a bit of adjustment. Hey, we'll manage, we'll manage. Also reminds me of Eco. Yeah, this is an Eco. Ouch, that was a bad. I got, I got ambushed. Oh God, the targeting. Did I just fucking get... Damn. Okay, this combat is... Somehow like... Maybe I'm just embarrassed that I'm dying in a kid's game. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But listen, I died in Hollow Knight as well, so... Interesting that there's no checkpoints so far. I mean, it's not an issue because... The way the levels link together, it's like no big deal. Okay, here we go. I am the master of this game's combat now. I say as I do the wrong button for locking on. Told you. Told you. Wasn't even a challenge. Didn't even get hit. And by the way, because this game has that like Sekiro-esque recovery mechanic when you fall off, it ain't even gonna count when I fall to my death. I know it's the biggest sketchhead meme that I somehow managed to fall to my death in uh, all conceivable games and situations. It ain't gonna happen here. But I'm definitely gonna be able to find a way to like permadeath myself off of a cliff or some shit. Okay. I see what's up. Listen. You wanna mess with a platforming god? I don't think so. These games are in my blood. Gecko. Gex. Okay. Well, that happened. Okay. So, this game straight up crashed on me and there hasn't been a save up to this point. Hmm. I'm back to square one. Shit. Okay. Because I am a generous fella, I'm going to give this game the benefit of the doubt and say that was a fluke, a one-time fluke. Um, hopefully an actual one-time fluke and the game is not gonna crash regularly because I am really enjoying this game so far and I'd hate to have to like um, I don't know not play it because of technicality still this was part one of Blue Fire um, I'm going to get back to where I was and we'll see what the fuck happens I guess if you never see another episode of this you know your reasons um hmm fuck 
I should have read up on this. Maybe the PC version would have been better. Whatever. I don't give a shit. We'll play. We'll see what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed episode one of Blue Fire. I'm really liking this. And again, I'm so, so hoping that this game is not crashy because that that would suck. Because <laughs> this, this guy is so kind of adorable. Um, yeah, we're going to say goodbye. Both of us. Take care. I'm going to do the quick wave as well. Yeah, ain't happening. As always, make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Especially liking and commenting always helps out. Um, turn on post notifications as well. If you're new here, uh, welcome to the channel. If you're returning, hello. I'll be streaming as well uh, from now on. As always, yeah. Thanks for watching again. Peace out and goodbye. I have to move my... This is like taking some time to get used to this new setup. Peace out. Goodbye.